Hello everyone and welcome to Humankind. The game is finally out in full release today and we are diving right into this one. So as with the previous games, we are joining this game with a, the Roman Empire. So I've already had this once in the beta version, in the open dev version. Um, and now we have the full release of this game here and my intent is to well, build the Roman Empire of course and see how it goes. So that means uh, we are starting with the early era as well something random that we get like the Egyptians or like the Phoenicians, if the, uh, the location is right. Then we move into the Romans, if we're quick about that, because of course the opponents might take them as well. Um, and then we might advance into medieval time as, for example, the Goths or the Teutons or something like that, because the Roman Empire, of course, was not until the contemporary era, but only in the ancient times up to early medieval time. Um, so we still need to change the culture afterwards, but our main intent is to play as an expansionist strong empire. Um, here we are already in the settings, so we are playing with eight competitors. Uh, that's me. He's looking a bit slimy there. Um, we can now finally also decide on a lot of settings that we haven't had before. So the wall size, for example, can be large, um, finally. So we are not playing on a small map anymore, it's large. Um, we are playing it with a normal pace, so in the open dev it was rather like the Blitz pace, or ultra pace game. Now we are playing with normal, so that really the game takes 300 turns, it's a long time. Um, and also a lot of development, of course. Um, difficulty, we're going with Empire for now. So one of the highest ones. I've actually lost, lost this once. So now we are trying this again um, before I really dive into the higher difficulties. Maps none, content, nothing for now. Um, yeah, that's it. These are the settings. Let's get cracking on some fun humankind play. I'm really excited. I hope you're excited too. Um, and I just want to mention this one here once. Thank you to all my supporters, to my Patreon supporters, to my um, commenters. Um, I, I love you guys and thank you for the support that you give my channel. It's amazing. And without further ado, go, 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 go. Now, here we are on an empty map now. Hunting party it is in the nomadic tribe. Neolithic era. Our very first goal is now to reach either five pops or ten knowledge stars or five animals that we hunt again. So in that case here, once we reach that, we can go for the first era. Now, as always, with every game, basically, we have the option of going two ways. Um, and only one of them is the good one, I guess. It's a beautiful map, by the way. There's a snake here or a dragon. It's a snake. Let's go. Let's go to the north and have a look what's awaiting us up here. All right. As we can see, Even those the first science point, may have done something an ancient encampment that we found here. So the goal, once again, is to find us a good spot for our first settlement. And we should do that pretty quickly, right? Let's just check this one. Oh, this is looking like an arid area. There is a sanctuary here. There is porcelain. Two times, actually. And each time it gives me some stability and money. Yes. Beautiful handcrafted map. I think it's handcrafted. We continue. Another science point. That is something we should be going for right away. And this one just popped up um, a bit too late there. Another sanctuary. So sanctuaries is something that we can um, pillage. Another science point. And as we are in an elevated location, we can see a bit further. Um, and what we can see is there's not a lot of water around, right? There's a river here that we could use. Um, and there's a lake here. But that's basically it. We also get the first event right away, a world aflame. So in the distance, there is a village on fire. People are fleeing. Um, what should we do with those fleeing people? Should we chase them? Um, this gives me a new army, the refugees. Or should we extinguish the fire? And this one gives me 25% uh, on city defense research cost. Let's go with the new army that we get with that, because that is pretty powerful. And we can merge them right away. So we have our hunting party now that has grown by one, basically, um, which is now our new tribesperson. So we can fight a bit more easily with them. And I think we could even... Add a deer we could hunt. The mammoth here. We could even destroy as well. But not looking so good. We could ransack the sanctuary there. And this gives me 20 food. So I'm absolutely going for that. Takes one turn. Let's end the turn. And we've ransacked the sanctuary. We got 20 food. And that means another tribesperson. So we have grown by three pops now. And that means we only need two more pops for the next era. This is looking like a really arid region. Do we get food here? Yes, we do get food, right? So up here, there would be something. Let's continue our journey northwards. 
because I really would like to settle as quickly as possible. Turn 8. With 3 units, it should be actually easier to destroy this, this mammoth here to hunt it down. It would be, right? That would be a big victory for us. What is the terrain looking on the surrounding? Looking not so bad. Let's hunt the mammoth. Let's have a manual battle there. Um, and let's start the battle right away. And as we can see, we can now attack. Oh, crossing the river here. This one crossing a river? Nope, it's not. Let's start the attack with this unit. And then let's do it with this one. There's no penalty. And then we would have the crossing river. We could also wait with this unit here. Let's attack. So that mammoth is really angry at this point. <laughs> and going around. As we can see, and smartly so, is settling on the forest tile. Right? So we would get the penalty here. For the try. And very good. There we hunted our very first mammoth. This should give us some nice resources here. 20 food and 20 influence, which is really a lot in that case. And with that, we've grown another pop at four pops now. It's time to merge, finally, my tribes then in the next turn. That's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to... Oh, we're going to split them. Sorry. We're splitting them. So one can now focus on scouting ahead over here. And the others are going to settle, most likely, in this era in this territory now. There is a beautiful lake here. So we have some good locations here. I think it's actually better to settle here. I think this is a special tile here. A river spring. That sounds pretty good. It gives me 10 food, but only 4 production. Yesterday, the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain. The stalks away swaying in the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. The ground down grain could feed the tribe twice over, but one of the tribal elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flour, she, she suggests the planting half of them so that gra grasses may return next summer. Sounds like a good idea. We could plant them. Um, this gives me 25% on domestication research cost or grind them for a bit more food on a city or outpost. Let's take the um, research cost reduction. And there's a bit more food waiting. And with this unit, I would like to settle now. Right? So as you can see, the nomadic tribe is already taking way longer than, for example, in civilization, where it is pretty important to just go ahead right away. Here, it is actually... Yeah, it's taking its time because we have events. We need to grow with our very first one. All right, and the deer moved. It's now pretty cool here because that is a beautiful tile. It gives me not only lots of food, but also production. We have forests around it. We have a lake around it. And we have rivers and mountains. Let's settle. And we got our first outpost. Perfect. For this, I will move my other hunting party up here. Because now that we have the outpost, I should protect it a bit better. We still need one more pop. So let's go ahead and take this food tile there. And I hope it's enough food. Sustenance, uh, it's 10 food. All right. Down Wonderful here we have stuff. a bit more food and it's a sanctuary food. that we can ransack. So I should be going for that. Let's take the food. Yes. Perfect. It was enough food. We have gotten another pop. And with that we have finished our first era. So we can now once again decide on the culture. Out of these, um, since we want to go with the Roman Empire, right? But for the very early era, we can only decide on these early ones. And the Egyptians looks, look the most interesting to me because they offer the industry. The Phoenicians are kind of like, yeah, in the middle, um, in the Mediterranean Sea. But we don't have water around them and they're only good when they're close to water. The Sioux offers stability and science, so they're focusing a lot of science, but I don't want to go with the Asians for now. So I'm going with the Egyptians, I take the industry bonus here, and with that, ladies and gents, we have our first culture. And boom, not that much that is actually happening right away. Let's end the turn. Let's salvage this one for a bit more food. 
Oh, there's lots of stuff here that we can salvage. Lots of resources, some food, some signs over there. And I love how this pops up over time again and again. Right, so this is randomly coming back. There's still a sanctuary here that we could um, ransack for 20 food. Together. Yes, let's do that. And with this one... There's a deer. We could hunt the deer. Let's hunt the deer. Let's make this an instant resolution though. And we do get some five food out of that. It's a bit. It's a bit for the next unit. And Let's end the turn. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. I just love these Entering little intro this videos. Era as the Egyptians then? No prizes for guessing how you plan to leave your mark. All right, so we have started our very first era. Another ransack has been successfully completed. It doesn't give us food anymore because we are now kind of like in a civilization era. It gives me 10 coin. All right, that's still fine, I guess. Um, with my three units, we can now continue. Um, up here is a good idea because the further we go up, the farther I can see. So that's always something to consider. There is an enemy or a competition, competitor. This hunting party is pretty big now too, so we might... Ooh, foo, 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 foo. We have 30 influence, we should really go for another territory right away. And what? Over here we have an outpost that would have 28 industry. 28. What is going on over here? There must be a natural wonder or something like that. Let's go for it. Let's go for this one right away. What is here? What is what is causing 28 industry? Mountains. Boy, that is really high. Mm, the cool thing is I can attach this outpost to a city and the city gets the bonuses of this outpost. So it's totally valid to do it. Hmm. It's big. It's a you big have built bonus. A first outpost, adding another territory to your empire. I know, you're hoping this is the beginning of something very, very big. It probably is. We could also just die now any second. I have no idea. Um, with our first outpost over here, we can now make it a city. So let's go ahead and evolve this outpost into a city. Boom. We got Memphis, our first capital, which is going to evolve into Rome later. And for now, what can we do in Memphis? Well, once again, we can have our special projects. So the Egyptian pyramid, which we can then choose. And it's going to offer us a lot of industry, but it's going to cost us a lot of stability. Stability is something that we don't have that much yet. So I need to wait there a bit. Um, I'm rather, I'll rather go for either the farmer, which is not so good looking, or the industry. And the industry is actually pretty powerful, especially since we are bordering to two forests that we can use then. So let's go ahead and... This one also gives me forest plus. What is that? There we have a stone field. Oh, there we have forest and stone field. Ah, there we have it too. Let's go with this one as our first industry quarters. Right? That's that. Nothing else that we can do for now. We need to be very careful with our units at this point because if we lose something now, it's permanently gone, right? So if I'm overreaching myself or something, I can't just rebuild pops at this point because Memphis has zero pops. It's going to have one pop pretty soon though. Um, and But that, that's, that's it then. This hunting party here, let's just hunt down this deer there real quick. This gives me five coin. And then I would probably really like to settle here um, I'm just thinking about the downsides. That is probably food. We still have a lot of food thanks to having fertile area here in Memphis. Mm, I will go ahead with this. We're going to have an outpost here. I can't think of a major disadvantage at this point. Because 28 industry is nuts at this early stage. So I would really like to go for that. Our first um, science, let's choose this. So there we have the tech tree. Um, and the tech tree is now fully developed. 
right? We were always pretty limited and we can go up all the way here to nuclear bombs, to um, the space laser and stuff like that. But for now, we're stuck here. So it's really expensive, as we can see. Quite a lot of stuff. And we need to decide on the first thing. So let's just have a look at that. Carpentry looks interesting because it gives us the archer. The lumber yard, which is especially useful here because we get plus one industry and forest. And our industry tiles order to forest. So that is a pretty big deal. And the other one is the calendar, which gives me the granary, which boosts our growth. Let's go with the carpentry first because archers I like, plus the industry bonus that we get out of it um, from our industry tiles. Down here, let's go and kill that deer. For another five coin. I would love to get some influence out of that or something that helps us along the way. And let's end the turn. Okay, the Assyrians. The agrarian Harapans. You're as likely to meet their canals and farmers as their soldiers. And word of your empire has now reached the Harapans. So our very first enemy or competitor Greetings. has I'm appeared and he's right up there, friend. right? So once again, this is pretty bad this is where I greet you. <laughs> because he's just bordering to our territory, to our capital right away. Um, let's go ahead and take this one. Boom, there we have it. That means that this territory belongs to us now too. It's also bordering to the ocean. Very good. So we can have a port here and we get porcelain two times. Which gives me another production bonus. Ah, money. And three money. Alright, with my other hunting party, I'm going to split them. Yes, sir. Right, and we are moving down here with one of them. Because I want to um, scout this area. And with the other one, we're going up here. Off and trying to find some higher ground, like this one. Perfect. There is actually a sanctuary right here where we are for 10 Let's coins. Let's take this one. And then I would like to find out what's over there. So this is also using the same mechanic that uh, Crusader Kings uses. The further I go out on the map, the more or the more macro management um, becomes apparent, right? So as we can see in this stage here, we can see the map. The further I go out, then I see um, some territory. And if I go further out even still, the empires become visible. So there is my empire right now and there is the Harappa empire right now. Nothing else though here. This territory is unclaimed. Down here we have an unknown empire. And what I can also see is we're pretty much in the middle there. It Let's is not just a bunch of buildings. It is warmth, protection, and, praise the gods, a bit of privacy. All right, another the Babylonians were chosen now. And the ransack was successful. That's a bit of money. And by the way, I cannot endlessly also lay down um, outposts. Each one of these outposts costs influence. The next one costs me 20 influence. So I can have one more outpost. And then that's it. So we should be a bit careful on where we place this last outpost for now. And since we are using our capital and this outpost here with a lot of industry, what we should probably aim for is something that gives me food. Something that gives me some growth there. I'm hoping that up there we have growth or we have fertile area. So this is where my scout here is going, right? And this is looking pretty good. Yeah, we have some six food, but that's still not a lot. All right, the Harappans want to trade with us right away. They want to go with only trade luxuries. So that's a step up. It's from forbid trade to going trade luxuries and then trade everything. I'm going to accept because I want to have a good relationship with my close neighbors. And there's no need for war right now. So we can do this. Um, with my other units, I'm going to scout a bit more. So we might or we want to find out what's down here. Right? Because we're bordering to that. A sanctuary! How very nice! We can ransack this one once again for some random rewards. Hopefully some food. Turn 16. We can go ahead now and... Ah, uh, 10, uh, 10 coin. Right, but we're going to do it anyway. That's that. On the other side of the map, let's go ahead and scout here. Hopefully finding us some new territory. This is looking good. There's something we can find. Let's get over there then. Ah, uh, what a beautiful map here, really. I mean, a bit dry, isn't it? 
not that much food, but lots of industry. Because of the mines. Uh -huh. And then I'm hoping for something really fertile here. This is looking good. This is a river valley. There's lots of food that should be here in this area. Will do. And of course we need to look out that we border Memphis. We should be, we should be very close around that now. Memphis still takes one more turn to get the first pop. But I'm also having my hunting party now here. Coming into Memphis. Unfortunately, there is a deer blocking us the way. So we have to go around it. Yes, we really have to. And then I'm going to disband it to get another pop right away. Alright, so this territory up here is pretty prosperous. Right? Um, what do we get here? Um, we do get 10 food and 10 industry out of this tile there. Um, that is very tempting. Why? Because we can, first of all, attach it then to Memphis. And we can kind of like create a mega city in this area. Because Memphis and this outpost are very close together. And thus we would, um, you know, fill in this whole thing here with a big city later on. And I think we are going with that. So I think we, we are going to found an outpost here now with the food. We can attach it then to Memphis. So Memphis basically grows over there. Um, and we get the food bonus that we need right now. At the same time, my regiment here is moving in. That is pretty good because now we can um, dispense this unit there um, and then use the pops for it. Alright, so let's go ahead and dispense the scout unit there. Um, and with that, Memphis does get a second pop. Very important, really, because now we can boost the production of this building here, right? Or of the city. So the industry tile has been built already. We get 28 industry out of it, but food is now a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and have our next farmer district, um, or our very first farmer district, actually. Um, and there's not that much. We get three food up there, and that's probably what I'm going to do. The farmer district. The industry is working, the food is working. If I move it over there, we get a bit more food out of it, right? And we should be doing that because industry, we already get 22 out anyway. Um, it doesn't slow it down that much. Plus, industry is going to be quite uh, crazy on this map there. The, yep, there we got a treasure of 20 coin. So we actually have a lot of coin. With that, we can finish a project soon. Um, we are pretty much down south here now. Let's just see. Yes, we probably... Right. Probably continue over there. Because there's also a, a competitor. Another empire waiting. For us. And up here... Oh, yeah. There we have the outpost that we want to create. Down here we also have the outpost that we could create. But I would rather wait for the influence. So let's just scout ahead and have a look. Perhaps we find another... Ah! Another sanctuary. How very nice. We should definitely claim this one there. Four ten coin. There we have the Harappa. So our enemy. Our future enemy, of course. And there we have a mammoth right in front of Memphis. I hope it's not having any, you know, higher ambition. Claiming the city of Memphis. Unfortunately, because of the forest here, the units are slowed down. So for this outpost, we still need another round. Down here, we can continue with the exploration. And then that's it already. Now the outpost has been finished. It takes now two turns. And once this is finished, we can actually attach it. Now, as we also can see, here is um, this outpost already. That costs me 30 influence if we want to attach it to Memphis. So we need to be careful now. What do we want to attach first? This outpost has two food and 28 industry. Um, and this outpost here has the six or the, the 11 food. So I think we're going to attach this one here first and then only this one. This can still develop itself, right? So this is still going to develop um, into more. So we are not wasting anything here. The farm still takes a bit of time. We are at two pops still. Another outpost would cost me 30 influence. Oh, decisions, decisions. What should we do? Should we attach or should we found a new outpost? Once again, a very crucial um, decision because it dictates how many territories we're going to have. Oh, we also see the first barbarians now. They're looking pretty good, by the way. Mercenaries. We should be staying away there right from them they could crush us there is a lair um a monster lair 
This one is dark dwelling of dangerous aggressive wildlife. It's to us if we want to go in there. And of course we won't. We're going to see what happens there. This outpost is in the making now. Let's just check our territory for now. As we can see, we're expanding into this territory, into this territory, and now we have the decision to make do we want to um, attach one of these to Memphis and thus boosting the productivity of Memphis early on? Or do we want to um, expand rather into new territory? We would expand faster, but we would also slow down the development of Memphis. Right? So that's pretty, pretty deep, that, that decision here. If we want to go either way. New turn, new luck. So let's go ahead and have a look at that lair. We do get 20 coin out of it, and we could also ransack this now for 22 coin. However, this is a, you know, a, a dangerous lair, so there might be some attack from a creature coming out of it. Usually, I don't like to take this risk this early on, but for the sake of showing it, let's try it out and see what happens next turn. There could also be nothing happening, of course, but there is also a good chance that there's something coming out. Now, I've decided um, for expanding rather than focusing on the development of my current territory so we use the influence to settle now on this tile here because we take away territory from the harappa they can't expand here then anymore and we do get the ocean right which is very powerful later on um, for harbor tiles and stuff like that so i'm going ahead now and 16 production and 7 food we get out of this one so let's go ahead and found the next outpost we have now four outposts by the way or three and one city um, so we should be careful of not overreaching ourselves there too quickly. Right, not that much going on there still. We have, with the Harappans, we have How the trade. Um, the, the beginning of that. Let's have a look at the other ones now, the Babylonians that we have. Let's introduce ourselves. So the very first step in diplomacy. I greet you. I'm not going with the surprise war. You, the you definitely don't want people. to do that. And let's and have a look. Let's suggest trade no? luxuries. Maybe. Perfect. They've signed it. So with that is our first step with diplomacy with them. Um, and then those guys here. We could trade everything. Okay, they refuse that. Because there's a crisis. There is a crisis. And what is that crisis? It's the territory that we just took. Right? Because we claimed it at the border. So there is a crisis, and only if we solve that, they're going deeper with us when it comes to diplomacy. We might just try to swallow them once we are the Romans. Ransacking was successful, so there is no, no dangerous event coming out of this. And... I move further south with that unit. Lots of mountains, so I think there's lots of production down here. Further up north here, we have the ransacking of another sanctuary. It's so much gold, really. And in Memphis, we finished our next quarter, which is the farmer quarter up there. So we have a bit more food now. I think, yep, we can now move either the pop up there or we move it back and grow faster. Do we grow faster? Oh, yes, we grow a lot faster. So let's keep this one here still. Uh, we could. No, no new district because we don't have the pops to, to work on them for now. So I rather would go ahead and build something. We could build the Egyptian pyramid. Yes, I think we're going with the pyramid as our first bigger uh, wonder, more or less. And the pyramid is our next project. It's going to take seven turns, um, and after that we can finally start pushing out some military units as well, like the archers. Um, but the pyramids are very powerful as they also give me a, an influence income. And the more influence we have, the faster we can attach outposts and the faster we can expand to other territories. So that's my goal. With my hunting party, over here, where we now have settled for the next outpost, I might now be moving down here. Perhaps we find something new. So along the coastline. We're following the coastline. Attaching an outpost costs 30 influence at the moment. So we need to wait there a few more turns. Here we're ransacking now. We can actually end the turn. Let's end the turn. There is actually quite a lot of things happening now with that. First of all, um, we get Rapid and a new outpost. The Hittites. Get ready to hear the sound of chariots when you least expect oh, it. and we also get a pretty um, dangerous foe. 
the Hittites or Hittites <laughs> are over there. So a new one. We also ransacked this sanctuary there. Let's just go for them right away and have agree. trade luxury proposal. No, why? I'm not interested. Not at all. All right. No, because I guess they don't want. They don't want any diplomacy with us at this point. All right. It's their choice. No one tells them what to do. Um, there we have another sanctuary. So we rather stick Follow here me. and take this one the next. Outpost clear. So another outpost here. By the way, this outpost now is growing, right? So it's it's going to take a while. But uh, for seven turns, we get another pop then out of this one. Um, we could also attach it, of course. This is going to be a city. So this is going to be one of my cities. Um, and this is going to be an attachment to the city of Memphis. All right, there's still lots of fog of war. Let's just see what we find here. Oh, this is Harappa territory now. So they're bordering us to the north there completely. There should be an outpost here somewhere of them. Greetings and further to the, to the south, what is now going there, on? Some good fortune. Let's retreat. Who may be more there is barbarians here or mercenaries that are blocking the path. But they're leading us right into... Something else. Alright. Haititis refused. Um, Ransack was successful. We got a lot of messages. And the wonderful great blue hole has been locked by another empire. We don't care about that. We lock the pyramid to us. Pretty soon. And carpentry finally has been researched. That took us quite some time. I think longer than expected. Um, and with that, we can finally get the archers. And we can also have the lumberyard um, for some boosting of our production. Now, next research. Let's just check this one. There might be something very interesting here. And that is the domestication. We haven't found horses yet, unfortunately. Perhaps they also appear once we have this one. Animal bombs give me the food. And scout riders, they're fast. This one gives me the warriors. And this one gives me the artisan quarters. And with that, we can exploit rare resources. Let's go with the calendar. As my next research. Oh, oh they just I have a declined. And now they're proposing it themselves. Luxuries. This Let's go ahead like and do deal. this. No problem with that. As we can see, it's getting a bit busy now on the map. We have now one, two, three, four forces around us um, that we need to handle. And we have the ocean to the west where we can then find something new. Um, our major goal now is to claim more territories, of course, and develop what we have right now. That's that. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next episode.